Just because your beauty products say natural or even organic does not mean they're safe or even free of chemicals. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchWatcher.com. And today we're speaking with journalist Adria Vassal about her book, Ecoholic Body, and how we can green up our beauty regimen. So we'll start with a synopsis of Ecoholic Body. Ecoholic Body is basically a really practical guide to greening every single part of your body, head to toe, inside and out. So everything from shampoo to supplements, to sandals and everything in between. Out of all the categories that you cover, is there one that is the worst culprit? You know, one of the big toxins on my hit list right now is triclosan. And triclosan, the Health Canada just declared it toxic, and it is in everything. Well, a lot of products labeled antibacterial. So that's in your antibacterial toothpaste, like Colgate Total, antibacterial deodorants. So even when you're picking aluminum-free deodorant, it can have triclosan in there. Your antibacterial hand soap that, you know, lots of people get from lots of, you know, lovely stores and they think antibacterial is better for you, but Canadian doctors are telling us that it actually helps breed superbugs. Uh, phthalates, another one, that's in pre pretty much everything that has synthetic scent. So uh, perfumes, colognes, that kind of thing. Um, those are full of hormone disruptors that are banned from baby toys, but they're okay to have in scented baby powder and baby shampoo. Doesn't make any sense. And you won't see that word phthalate listed on the label, by the way. It's just hidden behind the word fragrance. Uh, so that's why the unscented part is so important. And, um, you know, for sunscreens, sunscreen octinoxate and oxybenzone are a couple other ingredients that I'm not a fan of. They do a terrible job at blocking the cancer-causing UV rays. On top of that, they are actually estrogen mimicking and linked to more hormone disruption. And they are, in some people, causing allergic reactions. So get rid of octinoxate and oxybenzone and look for a sunscreen that has natural minerals instead, like titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. And don't worry, it's not your grandfather's zinc that turned, you know, lifeguard's nose is white. Today's zinc is a lot better. What are the health issues associated with these chemicals? The health ramifications to the chemicals that are in my mean 15 list are all over the map. So triclosan, for instance, which Health Canada is in the middle of declaring toxic, it actually uh, has been found to inter interfere with thyroid function in animals, and they're still trying to figure out how it works on humans. Others, like parabens, are estrogen mimickers, and questions are being raised about whether they are, because parabens have been found in breast cancer tumors and stuff, whether they are linked to breast cancer and, and, and uh, the, the spread and growth of it because it is estrogenic. Um, as well, they've been linked to male reproductive problems. Now, in terms of the rest of the world, uh, I mean, for example, how is the United States at banning these products? Europe's banned about 1,300 chemicals from body care products. Canada's banned about 500. And the U.S. is banned like eight. You also address clothing, which is not necessarily something that everyone would think has a huge ecological impact. Cotton is one of the most pesticide-intensive crops around. It uses 25% of the world's chemical insecticides. All for cotton. And so for just a t-shirt, it's about a quarter pound or a third of a pound of pesticides. You have to think about all the chemicals that go into uh, dyeing and making the fabric. Jeans are one of the most polluting product around. And they're great to get secondhand. And there are some great companies like Second Denim, which is a great Canadian company. Uh, they do the famous yoga jeans. They also have an eco line. The thing about jeans is the darker the jean, the safer you are because it's when they do all that whiskering and fading and sandblasting, it's really, really harmful processes and chemicals that are used to do that and it making workers sick around the world to make those jeans. So if you have just straight dark denim, it's actually a safer product, even if you don't buy the organic one. What do you think is the easiest change that people can make to their beauty regimen? Actually, the easiest thing you do is make something yourself. And I am not Martha Stewart. I don't like to get into super elaborate recipes, but my favorite thing is literally just to walk to my kitchen before I take a shower, grab a bottle of oil, a good quality oil, whether it's coconut oil, um, sunflower oil, safflower oil, grapeseed oil, especially if you can find it organic, bring it to your bathroom, take a shower, and when you come out, put a few drops on you as moisturizer. And so it's all natural. You control the ingredients. It's one ingredient, and it is um, cheap as hell. <laughs> And guys can actually take that oil and put it on their faces after shower again and use it as a shaving oil. What are a few DIY recipes that people can incorporate into their beauty regimen? Well, I do a lot of DIY recipes in the book, uh, but some of my favorites are ones that my family has been doing for a long time. You know, my mom's been doing this anti-aging mask on her face once a week since I was a kid and I've been doing it with her. She just puts an egg yolk um, whisked with a little bit of honey and you can put in a little bit of yogurt for lactic acid. Um, which a lot of really expensive uh, face masks and creams have. And whisk that together, put it on your face, 
if you actually end up swallowing it, it's still delicious. And uh, just put it on your face, let it sit there for, you know, 20 minutes is your Sunday spa kind of experience. You can do a hot oil treatment by putting olive oil, heat it up into your hair and let it sit there as long as you can before you take a shower. But I prefer to actually just take, um, make my own mayonnaise for my hair. <laughs> so take some oil, like olive oil, add in an egg and um, you can put in a little bit of honey, even whisk it together, put it in your hair, make it part of your whole spa day ritual where you're just sitting there. It's my Sunday, I'm taking 20 minutes to myself before I take a shower and this is the stuff that my mother taught me to do from when I was a kid. And those are the ones I really love because they're part of my family history. And I know my mom looks amazing. You know, she's in her mid sixties now and she looks great. And so I know they work. Who knew eggs were such a beauty product? Oh my God, they're so rich in so many nutrients. Nutrients which they advertise on expensive, you know, face creams and that kind of thing when you can just get it all from an egg. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.